Hi, I'm John, this is Dempsey Illustrations, and today we're going to add a little story for the Multiverse Story Arc. There is a poll on Monday for the next character you guys want me to draw, but with the release of the Venom 2 Let There Be Carnage trailer coming up soon, I thought it'd be quite fun to take Wonder Woman and add a Carnage symbiote to her. Hi guys, sorry the video's a bit late this week. I've had a few things go on personally that's pushed the deadline back a bit and this illustration took a lot longer than I thought. It took almost as long as the Transformer Venomized illustrations. So a Carnage symbiote is a lot more complex. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this video and the process of turning Wonder Woman into a Carnageized character. Princess Diana, aka Wonder Woman was in her invisible jet heading towards the Watchtower for a meeting with the rest of the members of the Justice League. When a meteor came crashing straight past the jet, nearly hitting her and crashing into the mountainside below, she decided to check it out. So she landed the plane and then she got out and she went to have a look to see what's going on. Upon close inspection of the meteor, there was a red and a black kind of substance on it. She radioed into the watchtower to let them know that she may need some backup. She's found something strange to be investigating. Martian Manhunter responded saying, we'll be there soon. Be careful, Diana. As she got closer, the weird organic red and black substance had kind of like a load of tendrils sticking out, whispering through the air. She took a step back, but it was too late. It launched at her and as she went to block, it started wrapping around her and changing her. Now, she didn't know what was going on and as she tried to rip the symbiote off her, it just didn't work. It was just attaching itself and the more she tried to fight it, the more it kicking and encased her. Eventually changing her into a carnage style symbiote. With this, the rest of the members of the JLA, the Justice League, landed. As they got out, they saw Diana, and to their surprise, they didn't know what to make of it. Now, that's where I'm going to leave the story at that point. I'm kind of adding this in a little bit to introduce the Justice League into a possible multi-story arc trend with Carnage Symbiotes. But the main reason for doing this was because they let there be Venom I'll say, Let There Be Carnage from the Venom 2 movie is coming out and I thought it'd be quite cool to... Is it Carnage Your Eyes? I don't know if that's a word but I'm going to use it. To Carnage Your Eyes, one of the Justice League members and I haven't really drawn Wonder Woman before on the channel so I thought that'd be quite fun. With this piece I quite like the overall composition. I've got Diana in kind of like a fighting pose. I mean, it could be flying or it could be getting ready for a punch. Either way, she's coming towards you. And I wanted to make the symbiote a bit slender because Carnage is quite slim compared to Venom normally. And the hardest part on this was figuring out where I was going to put the black symbiote elements compared to the red. But all in all, I think this came out really well. I wanted to have more of a form of a venomized Wonder Woman on here. So instead of having like Venom's white spider character on the chest for the in the contrast to the red. And you'll see a bit later on that I add a bit of texture to the red elements, trying to make them look a bit more muscular than that. The general principle is the red in the symbiote is kind of represented of blood in the original storyline. Um, in a sense, because Carnage is originally Cassidy and he's a bit crazy, a bit psycho and unhinged. So I wanted to capture that element in the facial expression, but I also wanted to have the kind of muscular effect subtly in there. I also added the effect that's the texture pattern I've been using on all of the symbiotes on this one. And for the hair, I'm really pleased with how it came out for the Carnage element. I do need to work a little bit on how to render hair out for actual characters. It's something I am working on. It's something I struggled with a bit on some of the illustrations on the channel, but I really enjoy this. Anyway, if you guys enjoy the process of bringing Wonder Woman into a 
Carnage symbiote combination. So basically Wonder Woman Carnage Arised. Be sure to smash the like button, but I hope you enjoy the rest of the process of bringing this illustration to life.
Hope you enjoy the process of bringing Wonder Woman into a carnitized form. I quite like the composition of the piece and how it came out. I also like the fact that the colour scheme works really well and for the background I wanted to give it a bit more of a menacing feel so it's kind of like ideally symbiote tendrils in a kind of like a shadowy effect but I think it came out really well. If you want to see more characters from the Justice League who turn into Kai symbiotes or other venomized characters and maybe adding them more into the multiverse story arc that's developing on the channel then let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to check out my Instagram and follow it if you want to have an input and a say in the multiverse story arc that's developing on the channel. The next character poll will be on Monday, so be sure to check that out. Anyway, stay safe everybody, and I'll catch you next time.